today we're going to take a look at similar figures and types of transformations. Similar figures. For similar figures to be similar, the figures must meet three criteria. First, corresponding angles must be congruent. Second, corresponding sides must be proportional. Three, the figures must have the same shape but not necessarily the same size. The symbol that denotes similar is that little symbol right there. Use the symbol for similar figures to show triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Then we are going to set up the proportion to prove that the two triangles are indeed similar. And next we are going to identify the scale factor. So let's look at our corresponding sides. So we have AC and DF. Those are our corresponding sides. Let's look at AB and DE. Those are our corresponding sides. Lastly, let's look at CB and FE. Those are our corresponding sides. Now let's look at our corresponding angles. We have angle A and angle D. We have angle C and angle F. And next, we have angle B and angle E. Okay, let's go ahead and set up our scale factor to determine if our triangles are similar. First, we're going to look at AC, line AC and DF. Set up our proportion, so AC is 8 and DF is 4. We simplify, leaving us with 2. Let's look at AB and DF. We have 6 and 3. Simplify, leaves us with 2. Let's look at CB and FE. Ten over 5. Simplify, that leaves us with 2, which tells us that our scale factor is 2. So we can conclude that our triangles are indeed similar. Hope that makes sense. What are the different types of transformations? We have dilation, translations, reflections, and rotations. Let's look at dilation. So a dilation is a similarity transformation. Keywords to look for enlarge or reduce. When a dilation is performed, the corresponding angles of the given figures are congruent. And congruent is just a fancy word for same. When a dilation is performed, side lengths are proportional, so there must be a scale factor. A figure is dilated from a center of dilation. Translations. A translation is a congruence transformation. All that means is the side of the figure does not change. A keyword, slide. An object is translated a specific distance and direction. Reflection is a congruence transformation. All that is, the sides of the figure does not change. A keyword, Flip. An object is reflected over a line of symmetry. Rotations. A rotation is a congruence transformation. The size of the figure does not change. That's all it means when we when you hear the word congruence. Stays the same. A key word is turn. An object is rotated about a center of rotation. Right, let's take a look at the four types of transformations. We have dilation, enlarge or reduce, translation, slide, reflection or flip, and lastly a rotation, a turn. Let's do a quick recap of the four types of transformation. Enlarge or reduce. If you say Dilation, you're correct. Slide. If you say translations, you're correct. A flip. 
If you say reflection, you're correct. And a turn. If you say rotation, you are correct. So those are four types of transformation. Remember, you can always pause, rewind, rewatch as many times as you like.